What's going on my people? Welcome back to Zentara Perspective. You are now logged into episode 6 in season 2 of Becoming Emperor Zentaro. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about the three things I've learned from losing 49 kgs in 10 months. Let's go! The first thing I learned is that weight loss is all about sustainability. And I'm mainly talking about your diet because your diet is something you're gonna be tweaking as the process goes further and further because obviously as you're losing more and more weight, your macronutrients are gonna be changing up dependent on your on your main target. So for example, for me, I was eating at a massive caloric deficit at the beginning of my weight loss journey, but now, I'm, I'm eating at less of a deficit than I was before. So this is just because of the changes my body has taken. And now that I'm actually a lot closer to my target or I'm past my target now, actually, if for those of you that don't know, when I started this weight loss journey, I was 127 kgs. That was in August, 2020. And now I am 79 kgs. When I initially started the process, I was aiming for 82 kgs. But as I got the weight down, I found that my perfect weight that I wanted was around 80 kgs. And then the two kgs I lost after that was mainly because of my training. I was still figuring out the type of training I wanted to do because after that whole time I was working out for weight loss and now I'm working out for muscle building. So I was still at a bit of a deficit at the time and my training just didn't match the muscle building I wanted. So I've now shifted the training to a more muscle building focus, hence why I'm starting to gain more weight now back to the 80 kg that I want. But now the weight that I'm gaining because my diet is so good Good. it's muscle that I'm mainly packing on which is what I want but in terms of the sustainability element of the diet you, it needs to be something that you can sustain for a long period of time and the reason I say that is because if you're going to be plotting out a diet for yourself now and then in a month's time you want to switch it up in a month's time you want to switch it up in another month's time you're going to switch it up all of these changes tend to bring some complications in terms of like spikes and, 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 and downward spirals in terms of your macronutrients. That, that's just from my experience anyway. I found that I got the best results from my weight loss when I carried a sustainable diet that I could sustain for a long period. Like, to be honest with you, the diet that I'm on now in terms of what I'm eating, I've been eating this diet for probably about seven of the 10 months. And then all I had to tweak was just how much of these foods that I was having. If you wanna know exactly what kind of foods I'm eating, head over to the links in the description. I've linked some videos down there that talk a bit about my caloric intake as well as the, the kind of foods I've been eating during all this weight loss. So yeah, the diet needs to be sustainable. It needs to be a diet that you can sustain for a long period of time. And you know, I'm not a rich guy, so I need to be able to have a diet that I can sustain in terms of finances as well. You need to be able to get these foods, access these foods, for a long period of time. And I do my food shop at Lidl, so not, nothing fancy schnancy. Lidl have everything that I need for my diet and it's not too expensive because obviously if money wasn't a, if money wasn't a thing, I would shop at places that offer me the best quality food. Because obviously the higher the quality of food you get, the more satiation you get, the more macronutrients you're able to specifically target if money's on issue. Because you know, the best food costs more. Let's be real, the best food is expensive. So, and I'm, I'm a guy who likes to eat meat straight from the butcher, you know, and that's not always cheap depending on which butcher you go to. And, this processed stuff we get in like Tesco's and Sainsbury's, that's for a whole nother video. But yeah, your diet needs to be sustainable. I hope I've, I've driven that in. Well, that was wrong. <laughs> the second and probably one of the most biggest lessons I've learned from this 49 kg weight loss is you're not gonna see any progress unless you monitor your calories. You need to count those calories and have a good idea of what's going in your body and how much you're burning as well. Because then you can really, really meticulously plot when you're gonna be achieving a certain weight by. That's how, the only way you're gonna really know that, okay, is everything I'm doing working or is it not working? If you have a good idea of the calories going in your body, and then you can just measure that up by how much you're burning. Because if you know how much you're eating and how much you're burning, then you have a way to really monitor exactly the progress of what you're doing. Because trust me, when you go into this with no plan, you're just gonna be in a situation where you're working out 
for months and months or for for whether it's in the gym whether it's outdoors you're doing all these things but you don't really have a good understanding of if what you're doing is actually working if what you're eating and the amount you're eating is either helping or hindering your weight loss so you have to count those calories and again i'm going to link a video in the description where i tell you exactly how to monitor your calories it's free and it's not complicated it's using the app and you can do that, just click the link in the bio. It's gonna be talking about the ways that you can monitor your calories. Let's go get busy. The third and final thing I've learned from my 49 kg weight loss is that there are no shortcuts. Good weight loss, whether it's any kind of fitness goals in general really, requires a good combination of hard work and patience. Let's be real, and that applies to life as well. Come on my people, it applies to life. Hard work and patience go hand in hand when you're aiming for a goal. So as much as you wanna lose dramatic weight in four weeks, or you wanna lose dramatic weight in two months, come on, that's just not gonna happen. Let's be real, especially if you wanna lose weight and then you want that weight to stay away, you, you, and you want that to be your form thereafter, it's gonna take time. Like most good things that are worth having, they take time to acquire and then they will last longer because you will appreciate them more. But if you just get it quick, you won't appreciate it. And you know, you just be back to your having your cheat days every day and you'll be back at square one. So I can urge you, please, patience. Patience, patience, as long as whilst you're being patient, you're working hard as well, it will always work in your favor. Patience, patience, I can't say it enough. Patience. Trust in the process. It's gonna take time, but you will definitely be rewarded for your time. You will be rewarded for your labor of hard work. If, if you need any kind of example of what patience and hard work can do, just look at my transfer, look at my videos, look at season one of this series and look at season two. Just look at what I've been able to achieve in 10 months, my people. I want you to use me as an example in terms of what can be achieved. Obviously, your results will be different from doing the, some of the things, but like at the end of the day, I wanted to show you that within a particular period of time, you can achieve whatever that is for yourself. Something that can be impressive, something you can be happy with, something that can wake you up every morning and you can look in the mirror and think, damn, gosh, damn. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I definitely wake up in the morning and I think that, I think, damn. Boy, you worked hard, my G. You did pat, pat on the back. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's magnificent. My people, I wanna be very honest with you. Weight loss is a very rewarding process, but it's also very testing. It's gonna tell you a lot about yourself, and some of those things aren't gonna be very nice, but you know, it's gonna be areas of improvement because one of my biggest takeaways from weight loss is that it starts off as just a journey to lose weight so you can feel better, but then somewhere along the way, it turns into just determination to improve yourself as a whole mental and physical, which is just the most beautiful thing to come out of it. You feel like a better person as a whole, not just look, not just feeling better because you look better, if that makes sense. So weight loss is something that's definitely a game of patience and there's a lot of things you gotta get right, but as rewarding as it can be, be prepared for the fact that it can be very testing and you will see a lot of benefits from you. Trust me, if you need any evidence, look on my YouTube channel, watch season one of Becoming a Prison Taro and you're watching the sixth episode of season two right now. I've got all the videos there talking about my diet, talking about my mindset, talking about little things that you can do in terms of food and all these other things to help you from my own experiences. As I always say, I'm not a fitness professional. I'm just a guy who took his initiative using everything of available such as the internet and other fitness professionals at all. And fitness professionals out there and which I'm hopefully working towards becoming a fitness professional myself. More on that later on. But my people, I hope that you've learned something in this video. I hope it's giving you some value. I hope it's giving you some energy to get
busy. And also in the next video, I'm going to be detailing you the good stuff. We're going to be talking about what I'm doing to build muscle. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have an inkling as exactly to what that is. But for those of you newbies and those of you who are not familiar with my Instagram, we're going to be talking about muscle building in the next video. So stick around, have a look around the channel and also hit that subscribe button. And if you want to do something extra to really help me, hit the thumbs up and let the algorithm know that this guy's channel deserves to blow and more people deserve to see it. And it's also a good bit of incentive for me to know that, you know, the content I'm making is reaching people, which is really good, you know, because as I said, I really want to grow this channel. I want this channel to be to be a beacon of the fight with tenacity daily tribe. That's what that's what we that's what we're out here doing. The fearless pursuit of self improvement and being the best version of yourself. That's what fight with tenacity daily is all about, my people. So until the next video and the next video after that, I want you to fight with tenacity daily to make your dreams manifest. And I'll see you in the next video. I bid thee farewell.